What do you believe about the Godhead? Explain it thoroughly so people understand your position. The main point about the Godhead is that we have one God, the Father. Uh, whether you use Hisor, Echad, Malachi 2.10, uh, unity yeah, is fine. Great keep your terms. Why do you guys, man, dude, you try to sound into, just get to what you believe, dude. Okay, then I believe in a united God, the Father, as the scripture describes in Malachi 2.10 and Ephesians 4.6, yeah. where he is above all one, through all two, and in us all three. No. You didn't explain. The Apantone would be the Father channel of the church in which God the Father exists as Jesus Christ on earth. Say it again. The Apantone. He is through all. The Apantone. That would be the channel. Can you stop Dia. trying to impress me with your lack of Greek knowledge? I, You're not I don't need me. to impress you, sir. Okay. Can you now dumb it down, go to your level, OP, kindergarten, explain who the Father is in relationship to the Son and the Spirit? Who the Father is in relation to the Son. So the yeah. Father is the creator of the Son. As it says in Philippians 2 7, he was made in the likeness of Anthropon Ginominos. So here he goes again, trying to impress me with the Greek he doesn't know. Now, you know the Greek, Good. I want to bury the Greek because you keep in your arrogance pontificating. Now, so what you said, if he created the Son, so you're basically saying the Son refers to the human Jesus. So there was no Son before he created him, right? Well, as it, it says that the Word became flesh, and that's that's not what I asked you. I'm going to repeat what you said, it's recorded. So, OP, choose your words wisely because I'm going to use your words. You just said the father created the son and you appeal to Philippians 2, 7. So if he created the son, now what you're saying is the son did not exist because he was created. So there was no son before he's created, right? Now, hold on. That's not what I said. Yes, you did. I As word. the father, as the word, he existed, of course. No, see, let me repeat your words again. The father created the son, Philippians 2, 7. Yes. This is your words. So if you want to take back what you said, because we got to know what you believe so we can destroy your heresy. No, the okay. father did create the son. He prepared okay, a body so for then What do you mean you didn't say that? I never what do you said mean that you didn't say that? say that. Okay, so let's try it again. If the father created the son, then that means you're referring to the son as the man, Jesus. So that son who's the man did not exist before he's created? That son who is the man? No, the man Christ Jesus did not exist before he came out of Mary. Okay, that's good. Do you okay, think so he did? Don't ask the me. Man existed? Are you going to bark over me? We're oh, trying to figure no. out your position. You've listened to enough to me to know what I believe. So the son, the person called Jesus. Yes. Did he exist before he became flesh? The person that became Jesus. Not the human nature that the person assumed. The son as a person, was he the son before he became flesh? Yes, in the form of God. What does that mean, the form of God? Well, okay, so God, of which I believe is one God the Father explicitly throughout Scripture, neutralized he, uh, wrong. through the act wrong. of kino, uh, Now here he you go neutralized. Again. Can you do yourself a favor? You're not impressing me when you try to quote Greek, kenosis, ekenosin. Please, dude, you're only going to make me go after you even more viciously. Keep it well, English. He neutralized his deity and took on the form what? He neutralized his deity as opposed to Ketargeo. Where does Philippians 2, 6 to 7 say, being in the form of God, by then taking the form of the slave, his deity was neutralized? The word kinoo means to neutralize. Doesn't so mean that by way of neutralizing. Kinao does not mean he neutralizes deity. Try again. The emptying doesn't, in the context referring emptying a divine essence, contextually it's talking about going from one station to another. So I'm going to ask you again to right. show me where in Philippians it says that he neutralizes deity. Well, we get that from the very word itself in Romans no, 4, 14. Our faith is kinoo, neutralized, but the promise is ketargeo, made of none effect. Okay, so it's here you go, Greek friend. I'm going to warn you about butchering the Greek. Number one, Romans 4.14 is not the same context as Philippians 2. Because in the Philippians 2, you're told the nature of the emptying. And it's not of divine essence, is of status, the form of a slave. So stop trying to sound intelligent. You're not. I'm going to ask you one more time. What in the context shows that ikinosin means neutralizing deity as opposed to going from one status to another status? Because if you were to... Um, if for example, the deity would be idle or destroyed. Deity or would be idle. Where does it say it's idle? No, no. I, I was saying if it were to be idle, destroyed, or replaced, uh, the language would be ketargeo. No, it wouldn't because words are defined by their usage contextually. So when I ask the question a fourth time, what in the context shows that kinao means the neutralizing of 
deity as opposed to the emptying of one status, not nature, for another status, because it goes on to explain the nature of the emptying by taking the form of a slave. Right. Well, and, and I would um, I would actually bring your attention to the word morphe, uh, in which uh, in John 17 or Matthew 17, 3, we see Jesus performing work. metamorphe, transfiguring. Yeah, that doesn't work. But that wrong. actually destroys your argument because if he metamorphosized, that means that inner abiding glory was veiled, not erased. Because yeah, neutralized it by the humanity. In Philippians 2, there morphe has a specific meaning that is not identical to Matthew 17. So let's try it again. In Philippians 2, when it says morphe duleo, the form of a slave, what does it mean to have the form of a slave? Because slave is not a nature, it's a status. But the form of a slave, yeah, the, so that uh, the more of a parabolic meaning, he went from God to slave. Again, what what was it? Top to wait, wait, what was it? No, wait, 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 what was it? More of a what? Uh, I would say more of a figurative meaning of he went from top oh, to bottom. Oh, you just proved my point. This is what I was setting you up for. So in the first instance, you wanted to take it more literally. But now when it's form of slave, it's figurative. And that was the point I was trying to get you to see. So no, I want to ask Figurative as a slave, but uh, no, he was actually, in a middle, he was not, that's literal. Slave. No, he was actually a slave. Well, of course he was a slave, but he wasn't a but slave. There was to nothing slave, figurative about He it. was in the likeness of anthropon ginamenos that was literal yeah. this the dulu i'm gonna i'm gonna slaughter you so bad for trying to think you know the greek but it's okay you keep barking the greek watch i'm gonna do to you without mercy i'm trying to be nice to you but you are really egging me on now coming back put aside philippians give us what you believe so we can go to the text not butcher text and think you're gonna get away with it so let's okay. understand because we still don't know what you believe jesus John, the man John on 8, 25 earth. through 27 See, you didn't hear me again so you're wasting my time i'm gonna try it again i want to know first what you believe Articulate what you believe without trying to impress us with the knowledge you don't have. Just What's tell us here, if you ask me what I believe. Jesus is the eternal son who became flesh, did not cease to be God. One person didn't. See? Simple. We still want to know what you believe about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. All right. So I believe is that Jesus claimed to be the Father when the Jews asked him who he was. He said that he was the beginning. And so well, I also believe that Jesus... Claim to be the Holy Spirit when he says that I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. And the apostles taught that same thing as the Spirit of the Son or the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Father and he's the Holy Spirit, right? That is what he claimed. Okay, before you get to, okay, just so we can know what you believe, so we can know how to have a discussion, man. We can't even get to a discussion. We got to know what you believe. So Jesus is the Father and he's the Holy Spirit, right? Right? Yeah. I, yes. Okay. Okay, so now you're saying that on earth, Jesus was the father? On earth, Jesus was the father. So now... Can you not say, I, I am here? Okay, now we can go. Impress me with your Hebrew since you want to now go. Okay. Go to Isaiah 54, 5. Read to me the Hebrew and tell me the participles there. What are they? Isaiah 54, Hebrew. 5. Isaiah 54, 5. Isaiah 54, 5. I never claimed to be a Hebrew student. You just quote, you said Echad and Yached. Didn't you see a Hebrew term? Yeah, that's pulling out my Bible with the strongest concordance and just oh. looking at those words. But with the Greek, I actually pull out my Byzantine, my majority text. Yeah, Byzantine my, or Byzantine? Okay. I have, okay, have Elzevir's. I'm going to give you a trillion. Since, since you went Matthews to the I am and Robinson's morphology, that, I use that with the Greek. Since you went to the I am he, the I am mm -hmm. he is found where in the Old Testament? I am he. Well, that's in Isaiah 43, 11. Good. That's where I'm going. So in Isaiah, since it's not written in Greek, it's written in Hebrew, right? Right. Okay. So to show you that in Isaiah, it does not teach that God is unipersonal, because you went to Isaiah. I'm going to show you something in the Hebrew, and I'll get you BibleHub.com, the interlinear, so that you can at least read the Hebrew and transliteration, because you're impressing us with the languages you don't know, and all of a sudden, oh, no, okay, but anyway. In, in the Hebrew, for the words, when it says, okay. your husband, your makers... Now, in the Hebrew, these two participles, they are masculine um, participles. What are they, singular or plural? Uh, masculine plural construct, second person. Feminine, okay, singular. so what are they? It's the masculine, the masculine plural, plural form of Baal. It's a masculine plural form of Baal and the masculine plural form of Asa. So mm -hmm. if it's plural, how do you literally translate your makers, your husbands? Because I've, I've never seen that. That's just what I've told you in the uh, messenger I do not disagree with the um, 
You didn't answer my question. God or the Father. No, you didn't. It's plural at this time, there was no united God. At this time, there God was no Father. Son exists in three yeah. modes of self-revelation. Uh, That's John, plural, is it not? John, John, was the Son and the Spirit there because you just got done? I'm going to repeat your words. You quoted Malachi 2.10 to show that in the Old Testament, he's the Father. So now are you taking back your statement? Do you believe no, Father, Son, and Spirit? My statement was he is an Echad father. He is a united father. So which is in, the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, was he three manifestations already? Three manifestations of one God, the Father. In the Old Testament, was the Father already in a threefold manifestation that he assumed three modes? Or is that because you said, I'm going by your words, it's recorded, that the Father created the Son. Which means you believe it's during that period where you have a different mode of the father. Or are you now saying in the Old Testament that the father was all three modes at the same time? Okay, so I, my stance is uh, incarnational sonship. And um, I plainly told you that I so believe the word became flesh. So you still didn't answer my question. God the father existed in the old testament as father word and holy spirit in the new so testament, he was all three Christ incarnation he existed father so son, he was spirit. all three all three the differentiation the so that the word can be sent by the father in the old testament right second samuel twenty two sixteen. so you believe the word was sent by the father you don't want to go to that verse i'll bury you in that verse but i just want to make sure you believe this word was sent by the father in the old testament of course it says the word, and that word, word is my mouth. from the father uh, the, in fellowship with the as Father, it's his word. That's the distinction. In of the day in the Bible. So you're not here. In fellowship with the Father and in communion with the Father. Right. Okay. I so then, what? So then, you're basically arguing, even though you want to use the term, these are distinct personal relationships. So you believe in that? No, you say personal. Yes, Impossible. you don't have a mode speaking to another mode. You have persons speaking to other persons. Relationship. No, you have God speaking to himself, swearing by himself, and doing all God things for himself, himself through himself. Can you open up Zechariah 4, 8 to 9 for me? Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundations of the, uh, laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. Sent who to who? Says the word Lord came unto me. The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation, sent me to you. So the Lord, the word of the Lord said that the Lord of hosts sent me unto you. So the word is sent by the Lord? Right. And, and, and how the word is speaking? That? Yeah. How, how did God send his word out of his mouth? Okay, so, and the word oh, is speaking? Right, out of his mouth. And the word is speaking? Yeah, the word because is speaking. The word, the word of said, God is speaking. The word just said, you will know the Lord sent me. He didn't say, you will know I am the Lord coming to you. Mm -hmm. You will know the Lord sent me. I, the word, speaking to you, you'll know the Lord sent me the word. So the word is speaking. He's a person, right? The The word is speaking, but you're saying he's a person. He's the person of God. and that's Because clear. he says, the Lord sent me. So when the Lord sends Isaiah, Isaiah is not the same person as God. He's a different person, right? Uh, when the Lord said, well, yeah, but you're talking about uh, the difference between humans and the true God. Yeah, be, no, but your God is more limited than humans because he can't be more than one person, one God. So can you answer the question? No, I've said plainly my God can is you answer the question? Father. Can you answer the question? The word is speaking and the word says, right. you will know that the Lord sent me. So here's the Lord and he exactly. hears me and I'm speaking to you. So the me is not the Lord. The Lord is not me. The me is the one sent by the Lord. So, are you sure about that? If you go to Isaiah, yes, read it again. I'll give 25. you more. Yes, read it again. And then the word of the Lord says, When Zerubbabel lays down the foundation, then you're going to know the Lord sent me to you, Zechariah. The me is the word, he's speaking, and the Lord sent the me to him, meaning the me is not the Lord, the Lord is not me. So, do you agree? The word is a person sent by the Lord who speaks on behalf of the Lord to Zechariah. Because he's speaking. So the word is a manifestation of God the Father. That's not what he said. He said, the Lord sent me. Exactly. But now you're saying it's impossible exactly. for God to send um, for God to send 
himself, to right? Himself. Is, is that impossible for God no, to manifest? I don't care himself? what I'm not talking about what's impossible. I'm talking about what's there in the text. Don't give me hypothetical. What's there in the text? It says the Lord sent me unto you. So now who you have to clarify who, who is who the Lord? Sent who? The word the word of the Lord was sent by the Lord of hosts. That's what the good God said. So now okay, the Lord sent the word. The word speaks and says, the Lord sent me. And you still don't see that it's not the same person, huh? You, you don't see that it's an Echad father, a united father? What does Echad got to do with the fact that Because Echad the word is the father. To answer your second. question, right? Echad does not rule out a plurality of persons who are unified. I agree with you, but not persons. Okay, but so let's come back. So why do, you co why do you keep telling me Echad father when the father here would be the one who sent the word, and the word saying, that Lord, Father, sent me, meaning me is not the Father, Father is not me, I'm sent by him, and you still don't see they're not the it same It says person. word of the Lord, is that the Father? Yes, it's the word of the Father. Right, so word of the Father is sent by the Father. Correct? Exactly, and is the now, word speaking as a person? That, how is the word of the Father not the father in a different form because the word is saying i was sent by the father so he's not the father so we have more than one god the father wait didn't you just bury yourself you saying echad and you agree that echad can include more than one person no no i i i wait, i wait, didn't you just, hold on. more did than one manifestation say, i've made that did you not clear. say hold on did you not say echad father and echad when i said can be used for more than one person yes so no, why I, said, I, I said I agree. Why would you assume that the word, if he's not the father, somehow this violates the echad of the father? Because that would you would say that there is a God, the word person? Is that what you're saying? Just like I would say, male and female are basar echad, so impress you with Hebrew. And yet the male is not the female. The female is not the male. They're not the same person. They're not even the same physical being. Yet two distinct physical beings, two distinct physical persons are both called Adam and Achad. If that's true of creatures, how much more can that be true of God? So you haven't proven that Achad means it can only be the father in a different mode. So you're saying, so we get you what you're saying. So I want everyone to hear this. So you're saying the father sent himself in a different mode as the word. That word is actually the father in a different mode, right? Yes. You guys Thank heard that, right? You heard it. The word of the Lord sent by the, the Lord, that word is actually the Father in a different mode. So what you have here is the Father sending his own self in a different mode. And he said, right. Okay, now go ahead. So as far as uh, Adam and, and uh, they being called Adam, um, yes. I don't yes. disagree. The scriptures are plain. Adam was a single person. No, it isn't. Genesis when 5. When he was united... Was it Genesis was it, five he, two? He was Genesis two seven. Genesis five two. Can you read Genesis five two? Well, we could go to Genesis five two. Read Genesis we also go to Genesis two seven. Can you read Genesis that Adam was a singular person. And then Genesis two seven is going to end up bearing you because you said you watched my debate with Stephen Ritchie. Go to Genesis five two. In Genesis five two, it says, "Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam." In the day so, they were created, right? In why would name, you go to Genesis two seven? To pit it against Genesis 5-2, when there you're told male and female are both Adam. So do you agree with the text? I do. Do you agree that it was in the day they were created? You want it to be an eternity? Of course, they're created. But when they were created, were they both called Adam or only the male? It says they were both called Adam, and that's clear. And in Genesis two, 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 one flesh or two flesh. Do you then agree with Genesis 2-24, the same chapter 2 and Genesis 5, that two dis different physical personal beings not the same person they are one echad and they are both adam so you can have more than one person more than one being who is echad and have the same name yes or no because that's genesis i do not agree with that statement because so then you don't agree with genesis date, okay. go to john 8 start reading from 13 to 29 slowly though i bear record of myself yet my record is true for i know whence i came and whither i go but ye cannot tell whence i come and whether i go mm -hmm. ye judge after the flesh i judge no man yep slowly and if i judge my judgment is true for i am not alone but i am the father that sent me okay hold on hold on well i want people to see how you buried yourself you just try to prove he's the father but if you start at 13 
He goes, I'm one who bears witness, and my father is another. Right. Don't give me a comment. Don't give me a comment yet. Oh. Okay. Finish it. Yeah. Finish it. Oh, finish it. Finish it. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. What's I the Greek word since you like to impress us with Greek? Hathed what is it? Anthropon. Hathed du anthropon. Okay. Anthropon, men, right? It's the word anthropos. Right. So duo. Okay. okay. Two men. That's what it says in the Greek. Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Dude, I want people to hear how you buried yourself with your Greek. Guys, did you see? He said, John 8, 27. Jesus said he's the father. But in the context, Jesus said he's not the father. He and the father are two men. Now keep reading. Don't stop. I don't want you to stop. I want you to do 29. Keep reading. Pick it up. No, no, not the Greek. Read your Bible. You guys saw Cotter, yeah, right? Yeah, no, nobody's going to understand if I just read it in the Greek. No, I didn't say read Greek now. Just read the text. I know, I know. That's what I said. So, but I want everyone to understand before you I am one that witness of myself. Hey, friend, hold on. Yo. You guys saw it, right? He went to John 8, 27. He conveniently ignored 13 all the way down where the father's not the son, son's not the father. There are two men as two witnesses. But keep reading. I want because it's going to bear you further. Keep reading. Keep I reading. I don't know why you didn't want to get to John 8, 12. Get reading. Go. You read John 8, 27 out of context. Keep reading. Okay, so then they said unto him, where is thy father? Jesus answered, you neither know me nor my father. If burial. Me, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, guys, burial. That's when he should have said, hey, you're looking at him. I'm the father. You neither know me nor the father. Keep going. He did say it's that. He said, if you Keep see me, going. you see the father. That's the same as you're looking at him. You want me to block you? Keep going because you're bearing yourself. I'm appreciating okay. it. Keep going. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him for his hour was not yet come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. Therefore I say unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, hate ego, amy, ye oh, shall press, die in your press, sins. Keep, keep going. You didn't stop. That was 24. Keep going, dude. Oh, you want me to keep going? Okay. Is then they said, said unto him, 29. 29, I get it, 29. Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 wait, what? Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Which okay, wait, wait. I heard. You, same chapter. I am one who bears witness. My father is another. We are two men. You don't know me nor the father. He who sent me, and he butchered 27 to show that Jesus is the father. Keep going. Now keep going. Finish, because 29 is going to be, keep going. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So keep on. All right, so you, you're gonna allow me to because keep going. You wouldn't stop talking mm -hmm. when I'm saying wait, so I can make the point. Keep going, because if you're not right. gonna talk over, I got then you. said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said to him, Even the same I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the he world that those sent me is true. Good. Yeah, which I've heard of him. That's the wait, I, am. I heard he. of who? I heard of who? He. He I him. heard of he. him. I, I him. There's distinctions the there. Jared, he who sent me, what I heard of him, I bear witness, my father bear witness, two men. You don't know me nor my father. But what was that about 27? See, if you keep talking over me, I'm going to have to put you in the background. In regards to the question of who, they understood not that he spake to them with the father. Yeah. And which father? He that sent me and the one I heard Please. from, that's the one they didn't understand that he was speaking about. Now keep going. Don't stop. Right? Keep but that's going, the John. question they asked. Keep going, John. I wanted to make a point, too. Go to 2829, John. Okay. Keep going. So, okay. So they understood not that he spake them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then ye shall know that I am he. Oh, but finish the other part, John. Use it to my I do nothing of myself, but as... My father, who's he? Hey, John, one more time. 28, music to my ears. Louder, John. Louder, 28. Louder, say I am he? Who is he throughout this whole passage, Sam? Keep going, John. John, I'm going to send you back and read 28. Do not interrupt it. Read it out loud. And loud. With it. Okay, so when he Start at 28 in the beginning. Wait. Start at 28 in the beginning. Read it loud. 28, 29. Then Jesus said unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man... That's I. Then ye shall know that I am he, oh. that's the Father, 
and that I do nothing of myself. Not the father, you my wicked father liar. Taught me. One more time. Do not add to the text like your father, the devil. He didn't say I'm he, that's the father. Read it without your commentary. One more time, I'm going to block you if you don't read it all the way through. Read it one more time. Then Jesus said unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then ye shall know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my father hath taught me, I speak these things. So who is there, y'all? 